Hey guys, I'm doing a bunch of different videos. If you've seen the other ones, I'm doing them all the same night so far. About uh, different brands of cubes that I have. Um, and this is probably going to be the last one I've done tonight. And also one of the shortest. This is going to be about Jacoby. I have two Jacoby cubes. Um, but I've been using Jacoby shafts. I used them for about nine years, from 2010 to about 2019, when I switched back to stock shafts. Um, the Jacoby shafts, ultra, ultra hybrid, whatever they're called, there may be different names for them. Great low score shafts, and in my opinion, became better than the Predator 314s that I've been using before. I don't know if the Predators went down in quality a little bit, or I went down in quality a little bit, I probably did. But when it came time to replace one of my 314s, I didn't want to get another 314. And a, a friend of mine said, hey, try this cube, try this one. This is this is the, the Jacoby shaft. Try it. See if you like it. And I liked it just freaking great. So I switched. So for a long time I did shoot with the Jacoby shafts on my Sean Q's. And at one point I called... I called the local uh, billiard supply store in Louisville just to ask him if he had anything to do. I didn't, you know, it, didn't want to drive there and look and then not have anything I liked. Well, I just called him and I'm kind of like, oh, I'm definitely glad I did because he says, hey, we have a really nice Jacoby in here. You should come look at it. I said, yay, yeah, got time off work and, and went and looked at it. And what that was, was this guy. I don't, don't. This might be a D7 Jacoby, but nice. Uh, this already had the Spanish bull on it, which I absolutely love. Um, I'm not super thrilled with this treatment up here, but it's definitely, you know, fancy-ish. Um, and he has the Jacoby Edge hybrid shaft on it. I like it. This was never going to be my main. I was, you know, I was not to the point where I was looking for a new main cue. I was perfectly happy with the Shans that I was shooting with. But I wanted something to fill a spot on my wall. And I got this. What I didn't know when I bought it was this is a 30 inch shaft. This is the first 30 inch shaft that I ever owned or shot, shot a ball with as far as I know. And I found that even though it's only an inch, you know, an, an inch can make a difference. That's what she said. I would notice that a lot of the shots that used to be a stretch for me all of a sudden weren't as much of a stretch. So I liked it. I actually bought a Mez uh, EX Pro shaft, which is wood with a carbon fiber on the inside. And I specified a 30 inch. So I wanted to try it, and I did like it for a while. It changes the timing of the stroke enough that, you know, like I said, I liked it. But it didn't seem to be that accurate. This shaft, it's a 5 16 14. This will fit all my Shans and stuff like that. So, like, yay, we'll switch to 30 inch shaft. That's not what I did. And my career took a different path. But, so this was my first Jacoby Q. My first Jacoby Q, uh, before that it was just the shafts. I like it. It's perfectly fine. For, to my taste nowadays, it's a little bit gaudy. But this was made, I believe, in the 90s. I think so. I think that's what I read online. And, you know, back then, people had, wait a minute, it has a date. Okay, it wasn't made in the 90s, it says 12 or 15. So, I must have bought this pretty much right after it was made. So forget all that stuff about the 90s. To me, to my taste, it just seems a little bad. But a couple of years later, I went back to the same builder supply store, look around, see what they had. And he had another Jacoby. And the one that he had, was this guy? I guess I should turn it this way. See, I don't know, nobody can read the signature, but 
there's a signature. Jacoby Sneaky P. And two things about this cue. One is it's skinny. It, it's skinnier than almost all my other cues. And the other thing is this cue hits absolutely fantastic. I don't know what kind of a joint this is. Is this a, rad, is this a radial joint? Can somebody tell me? Is that what that is? I don't know, but it's the only cue I have with this kind of joint. And it hits fantastic. I did a video about my best hitting cues. And I, I'd forgotten about this one, so I had to add to the video and go, oh shit, I forgot about this cue. Absolutely hits fantastic. It's right up there. I've done videos earlier tonight about my Josses and my PGRs. Always hitting fantastic. This one does as well. Uh, this is the stock Jacoby shaft, but it is not, at least it's not marketed as one of their low squirt shafts. I think this is just a solid piece of wood, just a generic Jacoby shaft. It's not one of the edge hy hybrid ultras or whatever. It's not. You know, a bunch of uh, wedges spliced together or whatever. Maybe that has something to do with how well it hits, it, but it, it hits very, this is as good as my Josses and my PGRs. It, it hits as good. The other one doesn't hit as good, but it is a low squirt shaft. It's, it's not meant to hit that solid. It's meant to not squirt as much. And that's just the way they are. Um, I don't know. that. This is about as plain as you can get. The only really fancy part about this cue is this brown hoppy ring treatment down at the bottom. Uh, this is, is simple, and this is the ultimate definition of a player cue for me because it plays absolutely great. I've got to figure out what's going on with this shaft. I think when I replace tips, I have this Willard's contraption that I have to clamp on and, and, and burnish the sides. And I think I may have dented the shaft a little bit. Either that or one of my cats chewed on the shaft. I'm gonna have to fix that. Well, that's annoying. Those are only two Jacoby cues I own. Get a bunch of shafts. I don't use the Jacoby I don't use the Jacoby shafts anymore. Easy for me to say. But I have a bunch, and now I, I and I also have the two Jacoby cues, Jacoby butts, if you will. And that's this video. Bye, guys.